We are making simit pide. The recipe is a mix of simit and pizza or pide. The difference is it has an outer coating with crunchy coating of sesame seeds. And that's why we call it simit. And also the dough is the recipe for making simit. We're gonna make a beautiful bowl shape with cheese filling inside, sujuk, peppers, it's gonna be delicious. I have 400 milliliter lucky warm water, adding one and a half tablespoon granulated sugar, two tablespoons olive oil, and about five cups all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add more later and it is totally about 500 grams adding 20 grams of fresh yeast you can add one teaspoon dry active yeast and over that added one and a half teaspoon of salt going to mix everything until I have a smooth unsticky dough Finally, I drizzled some olive oil so I can easily get my dough. Shape it into a bowl and I'm not gonna wait until it doubles, only rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. For the toppings, I grated some kaşar cheese use mozzarella and this is the Turkish white cheese similar to feta just crumbling and some sujuk just get the skin and slice it thinly for the sesame coating I have about two thirds of a cup water and one third of a cup grape molasses if you cannot find you can melt sugar about third of a cup until golden color and add water boil and use it for coating we will also need some roasted sesame seeds if yours white just roast it on stove top in a pan We want to have a soft dough as much as possible so I'm not gonna use more flour. Instead I oiled my hand and going to first cut my dough into 12 pieces. After resting for 15 more minutes, we are ready to shape. Just stretch a little bit with your fingers. Add from kashar, we're gonna add more later, so don't use much. Seal it and roll again into a long oval shape. After shaping the first six dough pieces, I dipped them into molasses and water mixture, then to the sesame coating all over and place it to my tray. For the second batch, I filled it this time with Turkish white cheese and also going to use some peppers for topping along with white cheese. Here is the fun part. We're gonna do some operation to our simit pizzas or pides. Just make a sharp cut from the middle and open inside. And this way the beautiful sesame coating will be on the side and we will have nice place to fill our toppings
to prevent your fingers from sticking while shaping you can dip your hands into molasses mixture Beginning from the first batch, I opened more, as you can see, we don't want a thick base. My oven is preheated to 200 Celsius degree. Before adding the toppings, we are gonna bake for about 15 minutes to get some nice golden color. Here is the first batch adding more grated kashar cheese and some sujuk slices and it goes back to oven for about 10 to 15 more minutes it smells delicious with the sesame coating the cheese and sujuk so we wanted to give it a try with my daughter right from the oven while it is still hot This is the second batch pre-baked and this time for the topping I added mix of feta and kashar cheese and topped with green and red pepper slices, some sujuk, olives would also go well I think. Please share your ideas what else would you like to add as a topping in the comments. The one with peppers and feta also smells yummy. I'm gonna try one with white cheese as well. Mm. Perfect, make sure to give it a try. Don't forget to give thumbs up if you like my recipes and see you next time. Afiyet olsun.